When the splint pattern is complete, reheat the cut thermoplastic in the hot water. While the splint is heating, slip a cotton stocking onto the animal's limb to protect it from the hot splinting material. When the splint is soft and pliable, remove it from the hot water and place it flat on a cotton towel. Pat it dry, then use the towel to transfer the splint to the animal. Place the palmer side of the animal's limb onto the soft splint, then wrap the limb with the splint. Once the splint is in place, start proximally and wrap an ace bandage around the splint to just above the carpus. To free your hands, you can tuck the remainder of the bandage into itself so that it remains secure. Since this is a functional splint to assist with mobility, it's best to form the foot portion of the splint with the animal in standing. If this is a large animal, you may require some assistance to help the animal to stand up. While the animal is standing, use your hands to mold the distal part of the splint around the foot. Hold the animal and the splint in place until the splint material cools and hardens. This should take less than a minute. Once the splint has hardened, lay the animal back down. At this point, the ace bandage can be removed. While the splint is on the animal, mark any areas of excess material that will need to be trimmed. Carefully remove the splint and the cotton stocking. As you can see, the splint has retained its shape. The splint draped smoothly over the animal's limb and contoured to its shape, thereby limiting pressure areas. 